<laughs> okay, uh, back at Caulfield with the runners parading for the big one, the 1997 Caulfield Cup. And they all look an absolute treat. There's uh, number one, Count Chivas, Shane Dye. He looks a little bit outgraded, don't you think? Well, his runs haven't been too good recently, Ken, and... Uh you know, he did run second in a Melbourne Cup, and uh, he won a Sydney Cup, but uh, his form of late hasn't been 100%. OK, and number two is that old marvel, Simon uh, Doremus. Certainly is. Uh, won this race before, but look, I, I would have liked to have seen the skies open for him last night a little bit more. I think he'll be competitive, but uh, seven-year-old now, I don't think he's quite the horse that won it last time. And I must admit, that's probably a bit of a statement, because they can come back and uh, bite you pretty badly. Shane, you can comment on the next fellow, Ebony Grove. You'd this, have been on him only yeah, for circumstances. Yeah, this horse is an outstanding racehorse. Um, he's going to get probably midfield, be midfield today, and he can win the race. Uh, if, if Greg just waits for a bit of a run instead of going around them, he's going to be very hard to beat, and uh, he's one of the chances. Uh, TAB number four is Iron Horse, the winner of the Epsom. Uh, Simon, uh, Gay Waterhouse is a big credential in his, uh, in his form. Yes, yeah, certainly is. And she was very confident earlier when we spoke to her. Uh, she wasn't w worried about the four kilo rise from last year's race. And Chrissy Munt's on board. He knows the horse well. His last start, he won the Epsom on him. So he'll be very confident going out there. Number five, Istadad, has only won four races. And I'm a little bit worried that he's finished second nine times. I'm not so sure about him in a tight finish, Shane. I, uh, I totally agree with you, Ken. Um, He's got the right weight at 54 kilos. He's got a good jockey, and he's got a great barrier too. But he just doesn't seem to win when he's under pressure. Octagonal would be, was beating him, and then we've had Marble Halls, always aloof. I don't know whether he can turn the tables today. The next horse along, number six, always aloof, has only raced four times in Australia, uh, and he's created a big impression, Simon. He certainly has. His, uh, his form here in Australia is absolutely faultless. His lead into this race has been faultless. Uh, we know he can run the journey from wins he's had in Europe over this distance and beyond. So I think he's got to be one of the major hopes. And Danny Nicola can be very confident with the ride he's got in this Caulfield Cup. Uh, number seven, Magnet Bay. Like Shane Dye is from New Zealand. But uh, you're at the peak of your form, Shane. I don't know if this bloke is. Yeah, his run the other day, he ran seventh in the Caulfield Stakes behind Falante. I can't have him. Um, I cannot see him winning. Uh, number eight is Peep on the Sly. I think he's a little bit in the same boat, Simon. Uh, uh, facing the uphill task. Yes, we would need to see a lot of improvement. His last two runs in the Underwood and the Turnbull haven't been up to par and uh, he'd have to pull one out of the box. Number nine, Sky Bow, finished second, uh, I'm sorry, third in the Melbourne Cup last year. Uh, he'll need a bit of luck to win this though. Yeah, he's probably the best ruffie in the race at uh, 40 to 1, Ken. His run the other day, he ran fifth in the Turnbull Stakes behind Marble Halls. It wasn't too bad because he got back and he ran home and before that he won the Naturalism Stakes. So he's probably one of the better roughies in the race, but the further he goes, the better he, he gets. Number 10, Catalan Opening. Uh, he's trained by a bloke who's already trained six Caulfield Cup winners, Bart Cummings. What do you think of him, Simon? Yeah, look, the horse looks magnificent in the yard, and you can see it there on your screen. Uh, I, I probably have a question mark over the horse himself, but I have no question mark over the trainer. He can do anything with a racehorse, and you can't really wipe him out of this race at all. Well, both Lee Friedman and Damien Oller are chasing uh, their fourth Melbourne uh, fourth Caulfield Cup in about six years. Shane uh, got to have a great chance. Oh, he's got a beautiful barrier for He's got Damien on board, Lee trains him. You know, this is the horse they've got to beat. Um, the 2400, some people say he won't run it because he hasn't been impressive his last two starts, getting to the line the last 100 metres, but I think he will, and uh, he's the horse they've all got to worry about. Number 12 is Markham, to be ridden by Jason Holder. He's trained by Cliff Brown at Narbathorn. Yes, can prepare a horse, Biffy Brown, for a big lace. He's got time per lane in his camp. Look, one, one over 2,500 of the South Australian Derby uh, uh, this year in May. Can run the distance. This is a big ask. Finished 5.1 lengths behind um, Marble Halls in the Turnbull. So, one of the roughies with a chance. The horse I like is TAB number 13, Might and Power, stepping up from 1,600 to the 2,400, but I know that's not worrying Shane Dye. No, not at all. I think this is a miler's race a lot of time. And what I mean by that is a good miler can come out and run a good 2,400 metre race at Caulfield. And not only do you like him, Ken, so do I. His run in the Epsom was the best. I better put a bit more running. Simon, uh, Gay Waterhouse has got magic of Sydney. Not for me, Ken. Uh, Shane, there's 15 Bonsai Pipeline, but outgraded. Definitely. Um, I know he ran second in a Wellington Cup and he won the other day, but no. 
Uh, Anne-Marie Sparkman has just cornered Lee Friedman. Let's go to Anne-Marie. Thanks, Kim. There's a lot of tension here in the mounting yard, but the master trainer next to me, unflappable as always. Come on, there must be some nerves, Lee. No, oh, well, I've, I've been at it a while, Anne-Marie. You want to ask someone that hasn't been there before, I think. But uh, no, it's less experience, me. I think it's experience, yes. Um, no, I'm very happy. Four horses are paraded beautifully. They're all in good condition. It's a matter of luck in running now. I just hope they have a safe run and get home safe, yeah. OK, which one is going to bring home the fourth? It's your last chance. You just looked at them. No more time. What's the tip? Uh, I'm, I'm very happy with always the Louvre and Marble Halls. I think one of them will win the race. I think, I'm hoping one of them can win the race, yeah. <laughs> Marble Halls, perhaps? Uh, maybe one or the other. Okay. Okay. Thanks very much. Well, Anne Marie couldn't tie a man down there, and uh, Lee was uh, not committing himself between Marble Halls and Always Aloof. Both looked pictures uh, in the enclosure before they went out. There's Sweet Delight, uh, did win a country cup the other day, but uh, you're not going to back her, uh, her Simon. No, I'm you? not going to back her. She, she could be the leader. She'll go over from uh, her wide alley of 15 and I think try and be in the first half dozen. Number 17, Al Sumo. Do you think he's too inexperienced, Shane? Well, he hasn't had many runs. He's only had seven, but he's a very, very good horse on the way up. They were offered a lot of money um, last week and they knocked it back. His win in the Coonji on Sunday at Sandown was very, very strong. And he's another one with a rough hope in the race. But he is an inexperienced. I agree with you there. Uh, and making up the field is the horse Simon has a big interest in, Dero Bay. We're not going to ask you about her. You'll declare her over the line. Oh, no, I won't declare <laughs> her over Very the biased line. opinion here. I would have been far more confident if we drew in uh, inside the, the first 10. But we're out in barrier 18 when they jump. And uh, we'll come over with Sweet Delight, I would imagine. Um, depending on how young Brent Stanley sees it, he might even go back. But it's really up to him. Wish him a safe ride and I hope she runs up to her ability. OK, as we look at the crowd, we've got time for a break, so we'll take it. and We'll be back for the running of the big one, the Caulfield Cup. Ready to go.